Welcome back, everyone, to Game Dev Tycoon. We're picking up right where we left off, and right where we left off was Bros and Script decided to make us millionaires, and I couldn't be more happy. So now we have the opportunity to start with, you know, I'm going to see if there's any, to start fresh, to start new. I'm going to see if there's a uh, topic we can research, a brand new one, Cyberpunk Romance. Ugh. These topics suck, man. Let's research romance, I guess, because that's what the kids enjoy these days. Train, I'm gonna train this guy in technology. Wow, man. I can't- we pulled that out of the fire, didn't we? We are ranked number three all time, I guess. Or, er, er, currently. Sold, uh, 400,000 units generating 2.7 million dollars in sales. Holy shit, dude. So is this just, because I like exploring new topics, I like seeing what kind of new things we can create. This game's lesson pretty much is stick with what you know and just, I, I don't know, I don't like that. I want to do new things, develop a new game, here we go. Uh, let's do, let's do a romance game, why the fuck not? Actually, I want to get on the Super TES, that's oh, only 50,000. Uh, set of romance. Wow, those are all the topics we have? Wow. That's good. Let's do a... I like making guys characters, so let's do a superheroes one. No, let's not. Let's do... I, let's just go with romance and see what comes out of that. Uh, romance... Should we do romance? Should we do a dating sim? I think we'll do a dating sim. Romance simulation. Superior engine. Let's call it. Don't hate the player. Stunning 3D graphics on this. My copy. Story and quests, not so much, you would think. Uh, gameplay, bump that up a bit. And the rest is... We don't need cutscenes. Because I've seen a few dating sims in my time. And there aren't really that many cutscenes. Dialogue's gonna be down. Really? I don't know about that. But whatever. Let's see what we can do here. And graphic is all the way up. Okay. I guess. This is not looking too good, is it? This is not looking like a good game. I think this game just sucked a major, major ass. Let's work out those bugs. Oh, we got up to 25 and 22. New record for uh, technology. We level up in 3D graphics. Let's release this bitch. Seems that adventure games are especially popular at the moment. Okay, so the next game we'll do will be an adventure game. Uh, maybe I'll release it on the PC and try to just make as much money as possible. This is another average game. I am gonna run this company right into the ground. And it's gonna be Bros and Scrub that are gonna pick me up and buy my bootlaces, drag me across the open field, and into prosperity. I just know it. Do you have any idea what I'm saying right now? Because I would love to find out what I'm saying right now. Generate game report. This guy will research Wild West. Ooh! Let's do a Wild West game. I think that'd be somewhat interesting. So let's see what they have to say about... Don't hate the player. Uh, Romance Sim is a good combination. Engine seems to be quite important in this one. I don't know why that didn't do so well. So let's do a Wild West adventure game. Adventure. Let's go back to the Super TES, because I just bought the Superior Engine. What do we call it? I get this, this isn't- I, I have a hard time naming things. Um, this was actually a show in the 50s. Now, I'm a, somewhat a big fan of, uh, classic television. Look up The Rifleman, that had a really cool intro. It wasn't actually that bad. It was corny at times, but it was the 50s. You, they could get away with a lot more of them. So let's start the film on The Rifleman. Now, I mean, I have the theme song of it stuck in my head. Seriously, go look it up. Gameplay, not so much. We'll more of that. Story quests, all the way up. Boom. 
roll that simple cutscenes, linear story. You know what? We can afford it. Because I have a good feeling about this game. Why are we stuck? Don't be scratching our heads. We know what we're doing. This is going to be a great game. Oh, we need to research some shit. Dialogues all the way up. Level design. Not so much. Artificial intelligence is good. Go, go, go. Have to make all this money. We gotta show the world that video games aren't as bad as people make them out to be. The case for video game. Oh god. All those things are gonna be important here. Don't hate the players not for market sold twenty four thousand. Yeah, see, that wasn't that good, was it? I think we can do better than that, guys. I guess not. We're about to level up and stuff. I level up in world design. Oh, Braden Gonzalez is the guy's name. Like, I couldn't, I forget, totally forgot the guy's name. So, due to increasing experience, the following staff have raised their salary. Okay. Day and night cycle. Ooh. I'm just going to send him on vacation right now. Uh, oh my god. Why is everything so average? Oh, I thought we were doing so well, but we're still over 2 million, and it's only gonna get better from here because we're making money at least. Boss, it seems that a few players use illegal copies of a rifleman. I managed to identify some. We could ever sue them to defend our copyright, or we just ask them to stop. I'm a big fan of second chances. I make that evidently clear, so I will warn them this time, but if they do it again, we will hashtag sue their ass. Well, it's Wild West Adventure Bad Company. Hey, man, why? Okay, fuck that, I guess. We're gonna do a PC adventure game. Because I said so. What's a good... adventure platform? Cool. Superior engine. Topic. What's a good adventure... or adventure? Great combo. We're gonna do a horror game. But it's gonna be for mature audiences. So, it's Halloween. So what do we call this? You've all heard of Five Nights at Freddy's. Well, we're gonna up that. And it's gonna be Six Nights at Vinny's. Yeah. Instead of a pizza place, it's a, uh, it's a burger place. It's Red Robin, actually. It takes place in a Red Robin. Because it's Halloween. Story quest up in mind. A little bit less. Dear Sus and Friends Limited, we followed your progress in recent years and like you to attend extend this formal invitation to participate in this big in the biggest gaming convention on the planet, Games Games Games, also known as G3. Oh wow, that doesn't sound like anything I've ever heard before. By giving your own company a booth at G3, you can gain a lot of fans and hype for your games, and we think your our audience will love to see you there. We will contact you for you yearly with booth options. Hope to see you. Oh cool. So this is basically like free publicity, which I'm always a big fan of. Recently sent warnings to several players using illegal copies of your game to rifle them. Piracy is an increasing big problem in the industry. Some companies invest a lot of money and effort to fight piracy, while others argue that it's better to take a more relaxed approach and invest in better games instead. We've gained 336 new fans because... It's about the same. Uh... Because instead of just suing them and just being like this, like, big overlord company, it's just saying, like, we'll give you a break, but don't do it again. Wow, this design in this game, like, this could be a really big seller here. I'd like to get more in technology and try to break that record. Rankham is now up market, sold 30,000 units generating. Oh, that's not bad. It wasn't the worst thing I've ever done. Get technology up to 30, and then we'll release this. 
Because we're still at 2 million, I'm not really worried about it. I guess that's it then. Those are new records. Look at that. Level up. Leveling up. Oh, it feels so good, doesn't it? Look at that. We're not going to break that record ever again. Multiplayer branching stories, dialogue streak, 3D graphics. Oh, that's so good. This has to be a good game. This has to be a million, a million smackaroonies right here. Nine. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Eight. Okay, I'll take it. Ten. Yeah, game hero. The goats and all games. Oh, that's great. Uh, let's just do a small booth because uh, this game is a big convention with four weeks. This is a small pop-up stand where we can show our... Let's just do a small booth for right now. This has to sell well. This has to do... Let's do generate game report on this. We're at rank 7 already. Rank 8. This has to be a big seller, man. This is, this is great. We got the following results. Graphics seems to be quite important for this game. Okay. I have play I have been playing Six Nights at Benny's and have tremendously enjoyed what we experienced. The term dialogue tree really doesn't do uh, Six Nights at Benny's justice. This game ha has a dialogue forest in a good way. Still effort by Sesame Friends. Uh, Curtin Gillen Gamers. Uh, it seems Mark is normal. It's a good thing we took advan uh, advantage of adventure while we still could. All right, let's check out the GTA convention. I think I'm gonna wrap this up. How many people did we manage to? Oh wow. Yeah, see, I didn't want to go to a big booth here because we may not even needed it. Uh, we had 47,095 people visit our booth this year. We didn't make it to the top 100. See, we get more fans. Which I don't know how you do that though. I'm not exactly sure you would do that. Today, Vani, I guess that'd be Sony, announced their own console, the Play System, which is that looks eerily like a PlayStation, which, as you guys know, in my consoles, I am a, I am the, I am a PlayStation fanboy. Apparently, the company has completely reworked their early Play System prototype after Nintendo canceled the project. I, I, I cut this out of the episode earlier because it was just, it was a time waster. So. I thought this game would do a lot more in sales, but I'm not. Doing sequels! Oh, we're gonna do a sequel to, uh, Scrap and Brosis, or Gross and Scrap's Cosmic Adventure, and that'll be coming up in the next video. So, I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, hit like, and subscribe down so already. I butchered that so badly. But, uh, yeah, I'm really enjoying this game. I hope you guys are too. Uh, and, uh, we'll keep going, and we'll see how, how far we can take this company. Thank you guys, we'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.